One of my favorite additions that Black Ops 6 brought us are the sick wonder weapon camos. This is something I've been wanting to see for a while and I'm excited to see what some of them will look like in the future. So far we only have one in game and of course it's for the legendary ray gun. Nothing is going to beat the original colorway but I gotta admit the black and green looks kinda clean. So let's get into some Liberty Falls and let's get to unlocking it. So it looks like the only way to unlock the camo is by completing the Liberty Falls easter egg. So let's give it a shot now i have not attempted this at all so i'm ready for this and i actually haven't even used the jack gun so i'm excited for that too because it looks like you actually build it while you're doing the easter egg actually that's the first step the first step is to build it so let's get into it and we are using the asg shotgun i've been using this one a little bit this thing is actually so dang good i think this has to be the best weapon uh in zombies actually i would even argue it might be better than the actual ray gun just because of the fire rate and it just does a ton of damage before we open up any doors let me go ahead and melee this for some free essence we got a hundred essence i think i did that count as round one or round two i don't know but you can only do this once per round you can drop a bunch of random stuff i believe let's see can i get another one yes i can 200 essence for the free and let's go and open up this door here so the zombies come out gotta get the free points am i right and this is actually what we're gonna build the jack gun this is the Damn it, that's a nuke. This is where it's at, baby. Look at that. Assemble Thrustodyne M23. I'm so excited to use it. Oh, and I have not picked this up. Let's go ahead and pick that up. <laughs> and I'm actually not even gonna be using any gobble gums either. Uh, I'm kind of not really using them too often right now. And I don't even have that many good ones. So I don't really want to use too many. I actually want to stack them up a bit. Holy dude, the rounds are going by so fast. Okay, let's start opening up here. We have enough points. I'm not going to be hitting the box at all. No need to do that. Let's start making our way towards the Pack-A-Punch. Well, I guess the first step isn't to build the Wonder Weapon. I believe it's to interact with the little machine. But here is the first part we're going to need. So this little valve thing, we got to pick it up. And then this is going to be for one of the parts for the jack gun. As you can see there, we got to go to the bowling alley for that. However, I'm going to be waiting on that. We're not going to be going straight to the bowling alley. I'm going to actually open up Pack-A-Punch first. Then we'll go there. I'm very excited though. This camo looks really clean. The only unfortunate thing is that I'm very unlucky with water weapons in general. <laughs> I think I've only used the ray gun maybe once or twice. And just by luck, I got out of the box. Meanwhile, I've had many, many games where I try to actually get a water weapon out of the box. And I get nothing. Oh, snap. I kind of overextended there. Yeah, I still got hit. Okay, whatever. Let's just go. Oh, wow. Wait, what? I got the key already? Oh, no way. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of Black Ops 6 so far. Now that we've had it for a couple of days now. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are if you have it. I actually enjoy this game. I'm not going to lie. I have been enjoying it just playing it casually as well. Um, I'm not too high level. I haven't really had too much time to play it. Um, but I have been playing it a lot. I actually have been trying to unlock some of the augments. And the augments seem to be freaking awesome. I cannot wait to have some of them unlocked. I'm barely level, what, 35, dude. I'm barely 35. And I just unlocked the jug augments, which are the actual, like, useful ones. So I'm, I'm just now, you know, getting my account started. I don't really have much on this. All right, let's open up the door. Let's go and interact with this. It's kind of cool. I don't know if this is my HUD changes. But nothing pops up for the stuff you actually have to pick up. Usually, you know, it'll say press F to pick this up or, you know, whatever. But it doesn't, which is kind of cool. You just you just got to know to pick it up. Like, I would not have known to pick up that valve earlier if I wouldn't have seen it online. You know what I mean? It's so cool. And I would have never thought to do that. Okay, I got to stop talking because I got to listen. This is a little pocket of British Of them. Central Park, for instance, in the no gravity field. 
little ingenuity. I'm sure you can retrieve it. Once we have enough parts, we'll build a working LTG. Yeah, the LTG. Alright, we got you, Panos. You know what I've also seen? I've seen clips of people getting wonder weapons and just a bunch of random stuff by just blowing up cars. Oh, this doesn't give you ammo. I forgot. I could actually buy ammo still. We can now start working on actually getting the jet gun in our hands. So we do have the first two parts. Actually, I can pick up one of the parts here. We'll go to the alley after this, but might as well since I'm right next to this part. Then we grab one of the parts. We've got the handbrake here. Now we just got to melee this. And we got to place the valve and turn on the water pressure. So as you can see on the left side, we have to raise the water pressure up. But zombies still spawn. By the way, it's funny that I was talking about how much fun I was having uh, doing the Sam trials in the first terminus video that i made however i've come to learn really fast that the trials suck they suck so much it's not even worth doing them dude they gotta buff those quick there really is no reason to do those trials at all i think the best thing i've got was a pack a punch crystal and that's after doing at least 50 sam trials i've never gotten a single wonder weapon i've gotten a bunch of perks however you know by the time you're doing sam trials you're more than likely ever going to have those perks, which really, really is unfortunate. I don't know. They got to buff those trials, though. But they were way OP on Cold War, so maybe that's why they didn't want to, you know, bring them up. Ah, uh, yes, bring them up. All right, turn the valve on. Go, go, go. Damn it. Okay, let me, let me train them up. I think it's going to be easier if I train. Get out of the way, vermin. Nobody likes you. Turn it up. Go, go. This should be the last one. This should be the last one. This should be the last one. I'm holding it. I'm holding it. I'm holding Okay. And here's the part we need. The water pressure gauge. Okay, so we just need one more part. And for this one, we are going to need the Mangler Cannon. Um, I think we need 2,500 to build the cannon. Let me go check. I could also just wait for a Mangler. But I think they start spawning... Maybe like 11, I think. Maybe 12-ish. Somewhere around there. Oh, it's 1250. Well, I was completely wrong. Okay, that's that's definitely achievable in the next couple of rounds. It just sucks, though, since I do want to upgrade my weapon <laughs> instead of buying the Mangler Cannon. We'll probably get a Mangler to spawn before then. I'm going to test my luck with the car. Let's see if I get anything out of it, too. Imagine. Nah. Oh, shoot. That one didn't drop anything, either. <laughs> <gasps> Wait, what did I get? What was that? I got cheddar cheese. Bro, at this rate, I'm probably going to get a mangler before. Yeah, here it is. As we speak. I just got to hit the arm off. That's Grod Kirby PTSD. Oh, shoot, dude. Relax, mangler. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Oh, another thing that's pretty useless is the locker keys. I've also never had anything out of that. Unless it's for, like, Easter egg on um, Terminus. I do not see myself ever opening those again. <laughs> it's not worth. Okay, so let's blow out this Mangler cannon. And here at Radio Shack, we have to shoot the door. And there should be some wires here. Let me see. There's a lot of rubble. Are those it? No. Oh! There we go. Perfect. Now we have all three of the parts. I finally get to try out the jet gun for the first time. I'm so excited, dude. I'm so excited. Here we go, dude. It's kind of interesting that it's already built. We're kind of just repairing it. There we go. And let's get rid of our fists. I guess not get rid of it, but boom! Look at this! This is the normal, like, right trigger. Does left trigger do anything? Okay, yeah. The blast. Now that we got the first step done, let's go ahead and continue. So we do need to use the jet gun to collect some parts. We got to collect a couple around the map. And the first one we're going to be collecting is in the comic book store. We got to open the door. We'll be back here. Yeah. By the way, shout out to everybody that watched the jet gun only challenge on transits. 
you guys are awesome. That video was so much fun to make. And it's so cool that I'm actually now playing Black Ops 6 and using the jet gun in this game, yo. Holy. Wait, is this the one I got to pick up? Oh, no, it's this one. Man. Oh, wait, I was, I was going for the wrong one. <laughs> what the heck? I was going for that. Can I buy ammo for it even though it's recharging? No, I can't. <laughs> I imagine that. Does it recharge while I have it stowed? I don't know. We'll find out. There we go. That was definitely not risky at all. Aether Storm go boom. High value targets. Jeez, I definitely didn't hear that enough on MW3. I probably should have pack a punch to this. Or even like my other whatever it's too late it's too late we've, we've committed okay so we gotta protect this we cannot let any zombies go in because it will mess with the integrity of it i'm gonna use this a bit okay i see so there is kind of Still a little bit of a strategy with the jack gun, I guess. You don't want to charge it too much. What's cool is that it pulls it away so that they... <laughs> Zombies kind of get distracted. Oh, God. That one just walked right in. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Don't go in anymore. Don't go in anymore. I messed up by not pack-a-punching. There it is. Oh, shoot. Mangler. Okay. Oh, it's an abomination. Now with this Edori, I think that's his name, right? So you pronounce that. With him, the goal is to get him pretty weak until he starts emitting this purple gas. And then we have to do a little bit something with him. So we don't actually want to kill him. I'm going to go and drop this right here. Hopefully it doesn't get lost. I'm going to go pack a punch real quick. And I'm also going to upgrade my shotgun here. Because I don't think I should use the jack for this part. I think I'm going to actually use my shotgun for this. I just really hope that that high value target does not go away. I don't think it should. I'm hoping it doesn't. Yeah, yo, these abominations are so tanky. Even with the ray gun, it's still kind of hard. And actually, whenever you pick up the canister, you can't run. So it's kind of disabled right now. I'm going a little bit slow. Even though with the Omni movement, it does kind of go fast. Okay, so there we go. The purple gas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to take it pretty much to where one of these uh, traps are at. Then we got to go ahead and place our canister where the uh, trap is going to be activated. And we have to kill the high value target in this area with the trap. So it's still weak, right? Yeah, it's got the gas. Dang it, Abomination. Why are you making this harder than it needs to be? Get over here, dude. Here, let me just kill this guy. Is that in the area? I think it is. So we got the canister here. Ow, fudge. There we go. And the soul went into it. Ow, let me get that max ammo, dude. I need that. Ah, this thing hurts. We are making progress. So now we got to hurry up and take this over to the church area again. But obviously we can't run and we have a minute and 15 seconds now. We got to go, we got to go, we got to go, we got to go. And I don't have stamina up either. I probably should grab that actually. I think we're going to have to do this multiple times. Dude, actually, speaking of the timers, has anybody else had any trouble exfilling? I feel like the exfil timer is so fast. By the time I even get to the exfil area, because there's so many zombies and stuff, I feel like I don't even have much time to kill the zombies that are in the exfil area to actually exfil. I've actually failed a ton of exfils on this game. I just feel like it goes so fast, but I don't know. It could just be me. I'm probably just bad. So there we go. Boom. Now that we've placed this canister, it seems that we now have a Strauss counter. We actually have to go around the map 
and we have to activate three projector looking things uh, depending on what the strauss counter says so for example there is one over here and for this one let me see so now we got to pull out the thing okay so i believe oh wait is it stuck on okay there we go i think it's yellow because it's yellow <laughs> i think that's how it works uh let's see though did that get it done we'll up blanchard until all three are properly tuned okay i see there we go and then for this one it's gonna be this is low i think this one's red i remember something i remember hearing something about if it's green it's the opposite and then if it's red it's green <laughs> it's if you haven't actually done this easter egg it might sound confusing but uh from what i've seen i think that's how it works so then now there's one here okay so it's red so it should be green did i get it oh, i think i did it moved okay. there we go nice i did it <laughs> What we did with the projector pretty much activated this. And I remember this from the first time I played this map. This actually damaged you before. However, now that we did the projector, it's now a aether canister. And we can pick this up. So we got to go to the graveyard. And at the graveyard, we have to do the exact same thing that we did with the portal. Where we got to protect the portal. Uh, and we can't let any zombies enter. So we got to just do that again. So let's go over to the graveyard. And I think I'm going to pack a punch of the jet gun before we do this one so i can actually use it and now that i have this slightly more upgraded this should be a little bit more usable i mean i'm telling you man this weapon is so good and by the way if you haven't noticed already we're not going to be using any gobble gums for this simply because it would be way too easy i think if we use gobble gums okay so how much charge it's still 100 it's called the scramjet model 3200 so we place this here and then it's starting again. We have a minute to defend. I just gotta watch out. No! Okay, there we go. Ow! Okay, so now... We have another high value target. Damn it, zombie. This one, it's a mangler. Oh, and he's red. Yeah. Okay, so we gotta weaken him the same way. We don't wanna kill him. I'm not sure what happens if we do kill him. Does it just like reset this? I don't think I have enough points for a max ammo. Oh no. Yeah, I I'm pretty sure we can't get a max ammo. I think it's. Oh no, it's literally a thousand. Oh, bro. There's actually a reason why I didn't want to get a ammo mod. The ammo mods are, would, I think, would make this so much harder. If Napalm Burst pops, it's going to do so much damage. Same thing with all the other ones. Okay. Okay, so we got to drop the canister. <gasps> Wait, but we don't have enough points for it. Damn it, I got to end the round. It's fine. As long as I just don't kill the HPT, I should be fine. Damn it. I'm broke. I gotta run through. There we go. Damn, that killed him much faster than I expected because he still had a lot of health, it seemed like. Okay, so after I pick it up, I got a minute. There we go. Oh, did I end the round? Oh, fudge, there's another one here. Yeah, I did end the round. Dang it. Well, Sog generator. Wait, the final. Wait, that's it. Start the final encounter. Does that mean that's? Is that the final boss? Are you kidding me? My game crashed when I was paused. Wait. Wait, dude. My cave actually crashed. No way. No way. The real question now is whether or not the game saved.
Luckily, it was at a point where it would let me save. It said whenever the timer would run out, it would save my game. And a temporary save file. Do you want to continue? Yes, I do want to continue. So where does it leave off? Does it say? It said, um, it usually does say in the menu, but I don't know. This time it didn't say anything. Because sometimes it'll say like, oh, round, you know, 15, whatever round. This is actually something I was wondering. It's cool that it saves your game whenever it crashes like that, because I would have to just restart. You know what I mean? But since we were in the middle of the Easter egg and we're actually towards the end, what happens now? Does it just continue off the, the exact step I was on or what? We're going to find it together, folks. We're going to find out together. Please. I mean, the Easter egg, honestly, I'm kind of surprised that it wasn't super long. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Well, I will be back. Okay. So, we're back where we left off. Um, <clears throat> I'm still not going to attempt the actual... I guess ending just yet. It's not really a boss fight from what I've heard. Uh, Terminus is the one that has the actual boss fight, but um, I do at least want to get some equipment upgraded. I do have tier 2 armor this time. However, I want to at least get maybe like tier 3 shotgun as well as just like all my perks uh, just in case. We actually did this one fairly earlier, actually. I, I want to say I didn't actually time it. Uh, however, I think I got around maybe like 30-ish minutes right now, probably. I know there is an achievement, or not achievement, I'm sorry. There is a calling card that you get once you beat both of the Easter eggs, I want to say, in under 30 minutes. Uh, something like that. So, I don't know. This, this Easter egg is actually not that bad, and it's kind of a cool reward that you get for completing it. The fact that you get the new ray gun camo, just by doing this... Easter egg that doesn't seem too complex is actually quite nice. And I thought these Easter eggs are going to be more difficult than Cold War. I guess this is on par with maybe like D-Machine. Because D-Machine, I don't remember being too difficult. This might be... Actually, now it's easier than D-Machine. Yeah, I mean, dude, come on. 30 minutes? Yeah, that's way faster. <laughs> way faster. Uh, but Terminus is the one that's really going to be more difficult. I've heard... Uh, honestly, like everything I've heard so far of the game has been off of uh, like what people have been talking about, just discussions. Uh, I've heard that the Easter egg on that map, though, is very, very awesome. So if you guys want to see that, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe because it's going to be coming. I definitely need to beat both these Easter eggs before the quest mode, I think is what it's called, comes out. No, directed mode, not quest mode, directed mode, where it actually tells you step by step what to do for the Easter egg and it gives you a full on guide. That's so cool, by the way. But if you beat it before that comes out, then you get a couple of exclusive rewards. I don't know if it's just a calling card. I think it's something else, too. Uh, maybe a charm. I don't know. But, yeah, I definitely want to beat it before then. I can't believe we actually have the jack on Pack-A-Punched right now. I guess we should just continue the timer now, right? Yeah, why not? Even though it's definitely not the same time as last time. What up, Abomination? Not today. All right, I'm definitely going to make sure to get Napalm Burst on my shotgun. That seems to be super good against all the bosses. Mangler and Abomination. It just destroys whenever it pops. I'm curious to see what the actual cutscene is going to be. That's one thing I've not seen a single thing on. I've kind of avoided all the cutscene stuff. I don't mind seeing all the Easter eggs and the side stuff steps. Just to, you know, just because I'm curious. But I don't want to spoil anything. Well, it even brings drops with you. I thought it only brought salvage and armor. Oh, shoot. I wonder if this time Speed Cola helps speed up the cooldown process. On Black Ops 2, Speed Cola actually doesn't do anything as far as I'm aware. I'm also concerned. I don't know why. Last time I drank this... Of diarrhea. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. What kind of a quote is that, Weaver? Yo, what the flip? And I also have seen the high round strat on both of these maps. It seems that it's just score streaks again, just like with Cold War, which isn't a bad thing. At least I've seen people use the Mangler Injector pretty much the entire time. Or I guess the Mutant Injector. I don't know why I call it Mangler Injector. Um, it's. That's pretty much the strategy. You use that and the chopper gunner. But I've seen most people use the mutant injector, and it's just so cool 
playing as the mangler and it's funny that that is the high round strat again <laughs> rounds go by insanely fast too i think it's five minutes uh even if you're on 200 plus <laughs> it's like five minutes for a round in 200 is just wild but hey i feel like the score shrieks might get nerfed i'd be surprised if they don't because you just have to cycle them and you will get to you know whatever round you want the more i think about it the more i can maybe get this gold shotgun by the end of this round i mean we're already past 25 it's fine can i get a perkaholic from this please oh two gums stock option can i get something good please okay hey on the house that's perfect okay we're good we are good i just gotta go get armor and we're done we're <laughs> we're done with our setup I think we have a tier three in here, right? It upgrades once I get tier two, I think. No. Oh, fudge. I gotta go find it. Yeah. Tier three. And I could buy ammo. Just enough for ammo. We'll see what happens, dude. We'll see what happens. I think I have everything I need. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so how does this work? Wait, did I start it? Okay, I did. Oh, wait, we're stuck in here. I see. I see, I see, okay. That's good, because I thought it would get, like, teleported somewhere where there's no ammo. Dang, dude, I could have just held off on pack a bunch three times, because I can probably get enough to afford it in here. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. Is this just a soul box, then? Do I gotta fill it up? Hold on, I gotta actually watch out. Because these vermin, kind of hard to see. Oh, God. Okay. We gotta take out that mangler. Because that mangler could really grief. Let me see if I can get a clear shot on him. Oh, he's right here. I thought it was... I thought it was over here. Okay. I'm assuming that was just phase one. Maybe we're not even done. Okay. I think that was phase one. Hey. Full armor. I'm actually going to save that. Because I don't really need it right now. I'd kind of waste it. Bro, these zombies are so fast. They're so fast. Is that max armor going to go away soon? No, not yet. Get away from me, vermin. Actually, is it even going to go away? Is it a I wonder if it's an indefinite one. It doesn't seem to be flashing. Here, let me use this, actually. Oh, that's a... That's a high-value target. Okay, now, now I'll grab this. Oh, I missed it. There we go. <laughs> Facts. Um, Weaver. Okay, I'm picking up the max ammo. Or I'm buying ammo, I should say. Oh, we got a Maximo. Oh, but we didn't get an armor. I'm not even sure. I'm guessing we're just supposed to kill zombies here? That seems to be working because... Uh, I don't know. Is that another high-value target? No, it's actually not. That's definitely something, though. That's
That's the, that that's the high value target. <gasps> Bro, I thought I died. <laughs> I thought I died. I thought it insta killed me because I didn't see the HUD. Bro, okay, this is getting kind of intense. Hold on, let me throw a monkey bomb. One, because I want to see the animation, and two, because I just want to use it just for funnies. Oh, look at that aim. Look at that aim. Where, where are you going to see that aim anywhere else? Okay. Any more HVTs? I have a feeling a bunch more are going to be coming. I wonder if it would be two, though, because we did trap two. I, I wonder if that's, you know, kind of it for the HVTs. Maybe it's just going to be much more zombies. The end is nigh. <gasps> Wait. Wait. What actually got it? That's part of the thing. Wait. I was I thought I failed. <gasps> Wait. My friends for volunteering to take my place here. Or in your Wait. Plans, thank you for being voluntary. Now, if you will excuse me, I have a few scores to settle. Bye-bye. Dark ether. What? Individually choose to continue playing the match with a special award or exit the match to see your after action report. I mean, I kind of want to see what that special reward is. What a cutscene, though. Wow, dude. <laughs> no shots. Holy, whoa, we actually got a lot here. And we got a free ray gun. Wow, these are some pretty good rewards. I'm not going to lie here. However, ah, ray gun over, ray gun over the jet gun. It's not going to happen, unfortunately. Nah, man, not the homie jet gun. Dude, yeah, that was epic. Oh, we actually did get a perkaholic as well because we were missing melee macchiato. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it is, dude. I feel like that perk isn't going to be one of my mains. I'm probably not going to be buying it too much. Um, I mean, let me know what you guys think about melee macchiato. I just feel like because it's kind of risky even milleying zombies in general, it's going to be kind of hard to pull off. Oh, my God. I don't know why I'm lagging so hard. What's going on here? I'm lagging heavy. Did I get pack a loss? Oh, wait. I was getting this. So we got the zombies. I don't know. I guess this calling card thing almost <laughs> crashed my game. But, yeah. I don't know. Milwaukee Auto is going to be an interesting one. So um, I think as soon as we can exfil, I will exfil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As soon as we can exfil, I'm exfil. Wait. I just realized the whole point of this video was to get the damn Reagan camo and... I should have just, I don't know. I, I got to get the Mangler Injector so that we could uh, guarantee that I will exfil. Because <laughs> the exfil is kind of difficult. Imagine if I don't exfil. Wait, if I don't exfil, do I still get the Ray Gun? Please tell me I do. <laughs> it was pretty intense, though. The zombies were not only super fast, they were also kind of hard to see because of the Dark Aether effects. With the effect and all, I was a little bit nervous that I was going to get uh, surrounded super easily. I do definitely think that the bosses are a little bit too strong still. Uh, they're not strong in the sense that they're, you know, they're going to one-shot you or something. But there's just so many of them sometimes, and it's kind of hard to kill them depending on your weapon. <laughs> sometimes it takes ages for you to take out the Abomination. And the Manglers aren't the worst. However, if you have multiple of them, it, it is kind of crowded. Okay, so there's the x -Fil. Let's get it, folks. Okay, we got a minute. I'm gonna have to save the abomination for last. Never mind. <laughs> Ah, 
Ah, abomination, damn it. Where are you going, abomination? I ran out of ammo. No way. At the absolute worst time. Bro. Oh my goodness. I actually almost failed that. I actually almost failed that. Dude, let's go. <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention to my ammo. Let's go, dude. Let's go. I want to see that camo on my ray gun, dude. I want to see it. It sucks, too, because I was talking about this earlier, but the hard part <laughs> about using this camo is that I'm not even going to be able to use the ray gun that much. I'm just so unlucky with it. And again, we are going to be going for Terminus next, what I get on the house. Fast hands, danger closest, that's MP. I haven't even played a single game of MP. So, we should have it. There it is. I actually do like this camo quite a bit. The green with the black is quite nice. As much as I do love the classic red, I've honestly always wanted black Wonder Weapon camos. And in the past, I've actually looked for black camos on Black Ops 1 and 2, because for PC, you can change the camos with whichever ones you want. And I have dabbled around with some of the black ones. It looks nice, but I think the green, the green's going to be super cool. And I kind of want to see how this looks like once you pack a punch it. Um, I'll see if I can maybe get it in a game. And if I can... I'll show you guys, but if not, wow, well, I might probably find some gameplay from somebody uh, else who has uploaded it, because I don't even know if I'm going to get lucky with it, but I'm going to try to get it. Uh, let me hop into a game real quick and see. Instead of just hitting the box for hours and hours, I decided to just do the Easter egg again, <laughs> and this time I actually did do it a little bit faster, and it seems that you're guaranteed to get the ray gun when you do this, and here we go. This is what the black camel looks like. Dude, it is really really nice it may look a little bit different in my game because i do have my graphics slightly lower but i think this looks so nice of course i did work on pack a punching it as well now there was a bit of a problem with that we'll get into that in a little bit but uh this is the first tier of the pack a punch after a couple of rounds we finally had enough for pap 2 however this is when we ran into a massive massive problem so i've been around 30 quite often i usually expel on this round and I thought nothing of round 31, right? However, right here, <laughs> well, pause it right here. As you can see on the right hand side, how many manglers do you see? There is five manglers, four are charging, and one is standing in the middle. I kind of saw that while I was running around here, but I thought nothing of it. I mean, you, you know, usually they'll hit, I don't know, something on the building so it won't actually hit me. And I thought that was gonna happen this time, however, I got absolutely destroyed, but what was weird is that it kind of glitched out and it said I was going to respawn next round, and I hadn't gone down at this point, so I still had to self-revive, and this is, like, what just happened? I died. <laughs> Look, as you can see here, I opened up the leaderboard, I have zero revives, because I didn't go down at all, so this was just super weird, and my game kind of just soft-locked after this. But um, I'm happy we at least got to show off the ray gun, at least pap 2. I don't know. I waited for quite a while, actually. How long did I wait? I waited, like, what, 15 minutes, I think, just staring at this, hoping that maybe the manglers would die. But no, they did not die. They just kept walking around. And this is how my game unfortunately ended. This is very sad. Has this happened to anybody? I've never actually had this happen. I've just straight up gone down or died. <laughs> this has never happened, especially not when I have a self-revive, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Uh, I couldn't really get the PAP 3 in my hands. I was working towards it, as you can see, but uh, my game messed up. So, yeah. Uh, if you guys did enjoy, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you guys are new, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a good one, boys. Peace, 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 and peace.